Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be touching on crow's feet. You know those fine lines and wrinkles that we can all develop at some point on the outer corner of our eyes? Sometimes we can see crow's feet when we're being expressive, when we're smiling, laughing, crying, and then sometimes we see them when we have that resting face and they're etched in and they're a little bit more permanent. So I'm going to be sharing five products today that can help to prevent and treat crow's feet. A lot of the products that I'm sharing today will help with dark circles as well, crepiness and deep puffing at the same time. So a lot of us have other concerns when it comes to that delicate skin around the eyes, but I feel like most of us, the first thing that we generally see are those etched in fine lines that happen on the outer corner. And it's normal to experience this because as we are expressive, as the years go on, it just leads to that. It's normal, it happens, and we should embrace being expressive and being ourselves. We have to live life, for goodness sakes, but it's also nice to use products to help soften and treat and prevent at the same time. So let's talk about the five products today, which will all be linked below for you for your reference, including discount codes, as well as related videos. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell as I would love to have you all here long term. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well as it really does help to support my channel. So like I said, I am gonna be sharing five skincare products to help prevent and treat crow's feet. But another way that you can tackle this is getting Botox. Now I can't speak on this because I have never had Botox before or filler for that matter. And I'm not against it. I'm just trying to do things more naturally at home, like using skincare and skincare devices, I most likely will consider Botox at some point in my life. And when I do decide to get something done, I will let you know, I don't have a problem sharing that with you and I will even take you to my appointment if I can. But a lot of people will get preventative Botox because that way when they are being expressive over the months and years, then it's not leading into those etched in fine lines that obviously can develop into those deep set permanent wrinkles. So if you are getting preventative Botox, you can definitely use the five products or one of the five that I am sharing today because of course it would go hand in hand. But if you're someone that is trying to do this at home with skincare, then you are in for a treat. So let's get right into the video. So the first product is one that will make a difference in everyone's everyday routine. It is clinically proven and it's actually the only pillow on the market that is proven to reduce sleep wrinkles. And there were 87% of people that said that they saw a reduction in sleep wrinkles. This is the Sleep and Glow Omnia pillow, which I have talked about many times on my channel. I really love this. And not only is this going to prevent crow's feet, but it's also going to prevent facial puffiness, facial fine lines and wrinkles. Because besides being expressive with our face, with smiling, laughing, crying, we can develop crow's feet easily with sleeping on a regular pillow. Because depending on how long you sleep for, whether it's three hours, six, eight, 10 hours a night, our face is smushed in a regular pillow for that entire time. Whether you're a side sleeper, whether you're someone that sleeps on your stomach, we can develop fine lines just by sleeping at nighttime. Now this pillow, you will not experience any fine lines and wrinkles or any facial creasing because this pillow is designed with cutouts on either end. So when you're sleeping on this, the only thing that is touching your body is this is touching the neck and this is touching the head and that's it just like that. And you would think that maybe a pillow like this wouldn't be comfortable, but it really is super comfortable to sleep on. It gives you great posture, but at the same time, like your face isn't even touching the pillow, like not at all. So no crow's feet here, no facial wrinkles, no facial smushing. And honestly, when you wake up in the morning, if you're someone that does experience facial puffiness, this isn't going to lead to that. Now, sometimes I will experience a little bit of under eye puffiness, but it also depends on what I ate the night before. Like if I'm eating a lot of sodium, I do wake up with puffiness underneath my eyes, but 
sleeping on a regular pillow, I used to wake up with my entire face being puffy. My lips would be puffy. Everything would just be full of water. I don't get that anymore with sleeping on this. But most importantly, I don't experience any more facial creasing. So I love that. Now this is designed by orthopedics. If you're a back sleeper, you can easily sleep on this comfortably. There is a little bit of a dip here. I'm also a back sleeper. So sometimes I will sleep on my back with this pillow and it is so, so comfortable. But if you have any questions, please let me know. Ask away in that comment section. I know that this is an investment, but I'm telling you it works and I get the best sleeps and this is still the original pillow and I've been talking about this for at least four years and the pillow is still going strong. The next type of product would be looking for an eye serum that contains active ingredients. Maybe an eye serum that has a vitamin C serum in it, a retinol, maybe something that has a combination of everything. Find something that is suited for your skin type because I know some of these products can be a little bit irritating. They can be a little drying for some. So you do have to sometimes build a tolerance to these types of products. So start with one or two nights a week or once in the morning, maybe the next day you could use it in the nighttime. Like start slow, gradually increase your usage. And if your goal is to use this product twice a day, then slowly do that just to see how your skin reacts because remember the skin around the eyes is pretty thin and delicate and we should all be cautious and what we apply there so the one eye serum that I really love that I have been using for a really long time that truly does work from my experience with it anyways is the Dr. Dennis Gross Advanced Retinol Plus Ferulic Triple Correction Eye Serum. Now, when I first started my YouTube channel, I did talk about this and the packaging looked really different back then. So this is something new that they changed within the last couple of years but the ingredients is pretty much the exact same. So the reason why I like this one the most, and if you've been with me for a while, you know that I have recommended several under eye serums, and I do like to switch things up. I do like the Neod eye serum, the Ordinary Peptide eye serum. There are so many, but this is the one that I just keep going back to because the ingredients don't lie, and the results that I have seen from this eye serum alone is super impressive. So when you see a product working, you just wanna keep using it. And I'm telling you, if your skin can tolerate an eye serum that contains a retinol, then I would say look into this. So obviously eye serums and eye creams are not necessary to have in a skincare routine, but if you are someone that can't use your facial skincare products up around the eyes, then that's when this makes sense because this is designed for that delicate skin. So the retinol in here is going to soften fine lines and wrinkles it's going to prevent it's going to help with collagen production it really does it all it helps with texture and it helps to smooth everything out so if you are somebody with crepiness retinol is a great ingredient to use for this now besides the retinol we have bacuchiol and bacuchiol is a plant-based alternative to retinol so it does very similar things in terms of softening fine lines but it's not as powerful as the retinol now we also have have ferulic acid, which is an antioxidant, which is also a great ingredient to soften fine lines. We have rambutan, which can also help to soften fine lines and help with skin elasticity. There's glycolic acid, there's salicylic acid in here, which are further down in the ingredient list. There is licorice root extract, Santella asiatica, there's a peptide in here. I believe there's just one peptide. There could be two. I'm, I can't remember offhand, but there is a peptide in here, which again is great for signs of aging. So the ingredient list is very impressive and I haven't found a dupe to this yet. I know some of you have asked me in the past if there's anything that compares to this because this is pricey and I totally get that. It may not be in everyone's price range, but I'm telling you, all you need is the littlest pump on your finger. That little pump that you get, you're going to use that for both of your eyes. You don't have to do a full pump for one eye and a full pump for the other. That is way too much product. This is pretty concentrated. So all you need is like half a pump and that will do both of your eyes. This is a 15 mil size, which is standard with an eye product, but this usually lasts me at least six months 
sometimes even seven months. I feel like it's around that duration. So you could get less, you could get more. It just depends on how often you're using it. But this is something that I was pretty consistent with at one point and I was just using it once a day at nighttime only because of the retinol in here. I just wanted to use this at nighttime. And then of course I would just use something different in the morning. But I'm telling you, this really works for fine lines, crow's feet, crepiness. It helps with dark circles as well. There is caffeine in here. And this is also a great product to use if you're someone that is prone to milia. And I have said this before, I am prone to milia. Sometimes I will develop them, sometimes I don't. If I stop using this, then sometimes I will develop milia. Milium, if you have one milia, if you have more than one, and usually I will have more than one something on my eyelid, maybe something down here. So I need to be quite consistent with this and I do use this several times a week just to prevent that. But it's a great preventative for milia, but it's also great if you have milia, this will take it away in time. So the next product would be an eye cream. So you don't necessarily have to use an eye serum and an eye cream. You can just pick one or the other depending on what your preference is. Now, I really love the Murad Retinol Resculpt Eye Treatment. I did pick this up back in the spring and I've been using it ever since. I use this in my nighttime routine only and I did feature this in my summertime nighttime skincare routine video. So if you haven't seen both my morning and nighttime summer routines, I will leave those videos below for you. Now this has an encapsulated retinaldehyde and retinaldehyde is a little bit stronger than retinol but it's not as powerful and as strong as retinoic acid being your prescription tretinoin. So remember, there's retinol, retinaldehyde, retinoic acid being the strongest, retinaldehyde being in between the two. And I love retinaldehyde, but not all of us can use our face retinaldehydes up and around the eye area. And if you can, great, but this would be a nice option, especially if you want something that is strictly dedicated to that eye area. So retinaldehyde will help to soften fine lines and wrinkles, help to prevent, it can help to firm and stimulate new collagen, and it can also help to improve texture as well. There's also an ingredient in here called gentian root extract and this ingredient can help with sagging eyelids, sagging skin around the eyes, droopiness so it can help to firm and lift everything in time. And there's also another ingredient called oat firming film and this has that lifting effect. So for me personally, the only thing that I have seen since being consistent with this since the spring months is more of that tightening effect underneath the eye and also I do notice that some of those etched in fine lines have definitely softened. Plus, it just keeps my under eyes so incredibly moisturized because it does have shea butter. It also has jojoba seed oil, there is a peptide in here, and there is a vitamin C derivative as well. So this can help to brighten, and again, it can help to soften crow's feet, and this is wonderful. Now, I would say that this can be a little irritating for those that are just new to a retinaldehyde. So again, start with one or two days a week, gradually increase from there. I would say use this at nighttime because of that retinaldehyde and that's what it looks like. You don't need much of this either. This is also 15 mils of product and a little bit goes a long way. It spreads really nice underneath the eyes. I do bring this up underneath the brow bone and a little bit in that crease. If you want to put a little bit on your eyelids, you could do that as well. But again, just be careful because again, that skin is quite delicate. And with consistency, this is only going to improve even more as the months and years go on if you decide to keep with this for long term. But this is also another product that could help to prevent and treat milia as well. I haven't had any milia since using this, so I can't really touch on that, but retinaldehyde can help to prevent and treat milia. You could also use under eye masks. Now, of course, this is very optional and this may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I quite enjoy using under eye masks because they can be very beneficial. The one that I love that I always recommend to you guys are the Dermatology Brightening Eye Masks. 
Now these are actually clinically proven and they do work, they really do, especially to soften fine lines, but they also help to depuff. They target dark circles, discoloration, crepiness, dryness. It really gives that rejuvenated look and feel underneath the eyes. So you are getting 60 masks. So there are 30 pairs. I keep them in the fridge because I do like to apply them when they're nice and cold. It helps to depuff a little bit more that way, but also it just feels super refreshing as well. I use them more so in my morning routine, but sometimes I will use them at nighttime. And you can use this every day, twice a day if you choose to. Now these don't contain active ingredients like a retinol where it can irritate and dry out the under eyes. So with that being said, if you wanted to use this alongside an eye serum or an eye cream, you could totally do that and I do that a lot because these provide your under eyes with a lot of moisture. I want to keep that moisture in my skin. So I will go in with an eye cream or an eye serum afterwards to lock in hydration. And then of course, you're just treating your under eyes a little bit more with that additional product. Of course, you don't have to do that, but I do see a big difference when I use this alongside an eye serum or an eye cream. So there's cucumber extract in here, watermelon and blueberry extract. There's aloe, hyaluronic acid, nice cinnamide, caffeine, there's peptides in here, and the list goes on. I believe there's red algae as well. So it really does help to rejuvenate the under eyes, and I like to keep them on as long as possible. So what I typically do is I put them on, and when they are dry, and it feels like there's no life to them anymore, I will peel them off. That way, I had all of that moisture just absorb right into my skin, and that is how I typically like to use these. But sometimes if I'm on a time crunch, I will leave them on for 20 minutes, half an hour. You do whatever you need to do. Regardless, it's going to work, but I feel like they work the best the longer you leave them on. Now, I do have a 20% off discount code with Dermatology, so if you want to apply it to this product or anything else, feel free to do so. Of course, I will leave it up here and below for you, but these really are nice and I would say try them once. If you do try them, please come back and let me know how you enjoy them because I guarantee you, your under eyes will look incredible. And the last product that you should be applying around the eye area is sunscreen. So whether you're using your face sunscreens and bringing it up around the eyes or using a sunscreen that is dedicated to the eye area. Now, if you are looking for something that is dedicated for the eyes, I love the Dermatology Luminous Eye Corrector SPF 41. This launched this year and I actually did review it and demonstrated this when it first launched. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave it below for you. I do feature shades fair and medium. This comes in four shades, just so you know. And recently I did share that real no makeup look using tinted sunscreens. And I did feature this in that video in shade medium, which I will leave below for you also. Now this is all mineral with a zinc oxide of 12% and a titanium dioxide of 10%. And this is a product that also color corrects. So if you have dark circles, discoloration, you can use this before your concealer or before your foundation for that extra coverage, or this could totally replace your concealer. And this replaces my concealer. I wear shade medium the most, and it works really well. It's super hydrating, and it has great ingredients to target signs of aging. But again, it color corrects, and it also protects at the same time. So it's a three-in-one and it has a nice metal applicator. You push the button at the back and it dispenses that perfect amount to cover your entire eye area. But also if you wanted to conceal certain areas on your face, you could also do that as well. It's endless what you can do with this, but it's a great sunscreen to use for the eye area. I don't get that stinging to my eyes when I use this. It works perfectly and again, it is super moisturizing and this will be perfect for the winter months. So just make sure that you're wearing sunscreen of some kind and bring it up and around the eye area. So those are the five skincare products that can help to prevent and treat crow's feet. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, ask away in that comment section below. Everything will be linked in my description box, including discount codes and all those related videos. And let me know if you're using any one of these and what has your experience been. Let's get a conversation going in that comment section. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of 
course, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, and I will see you all then. Bye, guys.